Good morning. This mass is being offered for the deceased of the Stipp and Siebert families requested by their family. Our entrance prayer, let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice, turn to the Lord and his strength, constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and all this land that I promised. I will give you your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember, Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, 
wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while, a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The, work, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed all your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. People from other denominations, other communities, other beliefs, often accuse the Catholic Church, the Catholics, of reading none of the Bible. Accusations such as we don't read the Bible, we don't know Jesus Christ. And that accusation is based on the way probably our liturgy is set up. That it may not be visible to them, but for all of us who study 
the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist for all of us who dedicated time to read the Bible are able to connect the holy sacrifice of the Mass with the Bible. All that we say in the Church through the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist is contained in the Bible. The sacrifice of the Mass is nothing else than a journey from the beginning to the very fulfillment of the Lord Jesus Christ, the revelation of God himself. A journey through the first patriarchs, Abraham, Moses, the prophets, and then ending into Jesus Christ and the experiences of the church that he, the Son of God, built. But these other denominations lack the apostolic tradition. And we, most of us Catholics, ignore that the whole sacrifice of the Mass is actually the history of salvation of the Bible from beginning to the end made life, made a living sacrifice in this altar. So, as we come to realize that what Jerome, Saint Jerome said, it is true, ignoring the Bible is ignoring Jesus Christ himself. Because as Jesus said today in the gospel, he didn't come on his own, but he was foretold from the very beginning, from the first book of the Bible, the old Adam is by the same tree of life that cursed the first humanity, the first generations through the disobedience and by casting themselves away from God. Jesus destroyed that old man, that old Adam, with the tree of life as well, but by obedience. And that tree of life is nothing else than the cross. A sign of humiliation for others, punishment, but for all of us who believe, a sign of salvation. Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that the holy sacrifice of the Mass may bring the Holy Bible leaf like a turning, turning light in our hearts, that we may come to realize that this is a very special call to all of us to walk along with Jesus Christ through the sacraments to eternal life. Amen. Let us lift our hearts to God as we bring our petitions to him. For the church during this Lenten season, May the Holy Spirit continue conforming our hearts 
to the life and love of Jesus Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who shape public policy, may the Lord open their hearts to hear and respond in justice to the cries of those with no voice, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the terminally ill, may the peace of Christ enfold them in their time of suffering and grant them a holy and happy death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families, may God bless their sacred bonds and strengthen their love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may the angels come to greet them and lead them to the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those special intentions that we keep in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May Almighty God, we thank you for listening to our prayers and for giving to us the ways to share with you in eternal life always through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of many hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of many hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing to our God, Almighty in Heaven. May the Lord bless the sacrifice of your hands, the praise of your Lord, for the good of your hands of the Church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may offer in sacrifice, may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the hand. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the hand. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the lord be with you always with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Our communion antiphon, I will place my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God and they shall be my people, says the Lord.
of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame and those bound by a guilty conscience. May glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stay until the end of the Mass for the Novena to St. Joseph. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Everybody have a blessed rest of the day. St. Michael, the archangel, pray for us. Prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Joseph Novena. Saint Joseph, you are the model of virtues, the protector of the Holy Family, and the defender of the Church. You are especially close with God. Therefore, we humbly commend ourselves, our parish, our nation, and all who are dear to us to your powerful intercession. Grant that as I meditate upon your virtues, I may learn to fully appreciate and imitate them. Great Saint Joseph, implore with me before God the special graces and favors I now request.
glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, pray for me to have a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. By your love for Jesus and Mary, strengthen me during life and assist me towards a happy death. Be my guide, my father, and my model through life that I may die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Amen. Strong against evil. St. Joseph suffered the privations of life with patience and prudence, detaching himself from worldly things, instead seeking the goods of heaven. Great St. Joseph, model of strength against evil, intercede with God to protect my heart and mind from the dangerous law of worldly things and the many snares of evil, and detach me from all of them, that I may seek only the treasures of heaven. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Saint Joseph, renowned offspring of David, light of patriarchs, spouse of the mother of God, chaste guardian of the virgin, foster father of the son of God, diligent protector of Christ, head of the holy family, Joseph most just, Joseph most chaste, Joseph most prudent, Joseph most strong, Joseph, most obedient. Joseph, most faithful. Mirror of patience. Lover of poverty. Model of artisans. Glory of home life. Guardian of virgins. Pillar of families. Solace of the wretched. Hope of the sick. Patron of the dying. Terror of demons. Protector of Holy Church. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Let us pray. O God, who in your unspeakable providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your own most holy mother, grant we beseech thee that we may deserve to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom we reverence as our defender on earth, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.